checking the church was a good idea, now I know that Alyosha is alive. I still can't call the Aurora, but at least I know they intend to rendezvous with us at the dam. There is some really bad news, though. Anna has gotten worse. I must hurry back to her. Long since became instructors, and I'm still nothing but mosquito fodder.
already and get lost. Couldn't find a better place to make a bloody racket. Yes, crowd lovers have no sense at all. One bit. Oh, you're never bothered in the slightest. Brad got your tongue. So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with the bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps... We should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, quit your yapping! Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat! No respect for our guest, either! He can't get the word in edgewise! Don't mind them. To our meeting! That's a good tea! The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though! 
Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation. Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're the all coward. forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that. Don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough, and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds. They changed their tune. Oh, radiation! Oh, it's dangerous! Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out! Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. <sighs> Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes. My boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you were going to leave me. And had I not brewed mighty 
extra super strong that day. You would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar! Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir, an instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming up. Her. To hell. You're all ground-loving rats. Rats. Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Strong, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness and solve your marital problems. <laughs> The smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Leaving already? Oh, then leave. You're just a rat like Coming the rest of them. Coming in. Yeah, We're moving ahead slowly. The welded yes. track is being repaired. Yeah, I sent two guys to look for Anna Smith. Come here and go.
get some! Hatiom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zipline? Those kids built it back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Some girl here. She's drop dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, well, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go for that camp. First sight. She's seen better days.
not an enormous beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosh. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go. Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like Neither the air, nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. <coughs> Artyom, you know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean? I just knew, for some reason, that we were going to go there, in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts... They just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. Stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Atom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Don't worry, Arthur. Okay. okay. I'm on your shade. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. And it's 
seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. Take a seat, Bratucha. Boy, this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Noxie Pierce caused a simple error. What's we up wrong? with it? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back in Moscow. It got me a more uh, The shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably so. What do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go no, together. Sir, not our place first. She is my daughter, his wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker, and Artyom with his dream, he dragged us out of Moscow. So we, too, are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew, and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds him, a huge please. railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we beat. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, Yormak does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Exposure in the Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they're going to face.